So here it is, my old TBS Discovery transformed into a TBS Discovery Pro with the gimbal in the front, brushless gimbal for GoPro and the arm extension to put lower KV motors as this one's T-Motor 470 KV with 14 inches props. I've done this modification to get uh, more flight time and to get a uh, really stabilized image with my GoPro 3 Plus Black. Let's see what I've done with the GoPro gimbal. It's fully 3D printed uh, from Peter Lenner uh, from YouTube. I posted a video of this gimbal. This is really cool because I got the two axes with my gimbal in the front it's very compact uh, takes not so much space and uh, it uses the, the parts from the very cheap Chinese gimbal the well-known one uh, so here are the two motors and I upgraded to um, Tarot uh, ZYX22 I guess board um, I've not configured it yet but, uh, but I will do it soon it's simply slide into these two uh, tubes uh, I had to cut the tibers plate here uh, with the Dremel um, let's give a clean result um, and uh, the gimbal just go and Sliding, nothing more simple, and so it's free of movements. And uh, for the FPV camera, because it's very hard to fly with the stabilized image, on the top plate there is a, also a 3D printed mount. Here it's broken. Uh, put an FPV camera and I think I will just glue mine or velcro it and so here you have the perfect combo the GoPro with the stabilized image and the future FPV camera here the build is in progress as you can see there is the ESC cables here and I'm gonna put a mini KK 2.1.5 I guess because it's cheap and I already had a KK on the older version of this quad and so it's pretty cheap and very very good card now let's see how I have uh, I've done the arm extension modification um, so First, I printed from Singiverse uh, these mounts. Uh, they they have the same factor form as the DJI arms, and uh, the only difference is they are made for 16 millimeters carbon fiber or aluminum tubes. So as you can see. There's no screw holes or or something on the bottom and in the top. Uh, my technique to fix them on is to just put the the tip of your solder iron on and then just uh, put the screw in and then just screw it down. Uh, it holds very well, but I I think you can't. Uh, screwed and unscrew them too often so that's why uh, the screwing the top plate will be the last thing I'm gonna do um, the tubes goes through this and here there is a as you can see maybe um, a small part to stop them and then here you put an M3 screw and then uh, with this system 
tighten the tube and it contours as as this one uh, I'm waiting for my screws uh, I've ordered them from Hobby King with the KK 2.1.5 and for some um, shrink tube for the ESCs to mount the motors on the tubes as you can see I've used the um, Tarot uh, motor mount they're pretty cheap about eight dollars uh, they are made of plastic but they're pretty rigid uh, I think I will not have any trouble with them here's the carbon plate to attach the motor then you have four screws to maintain the plate to the arm mount I will put uh, all the links in the description now let's focus on the motors they are T motor navigator series MN3110-26 KV470 so that's pretty low KV um, they are very very good quality motors I run them as um, 14 inches prop by 4.7 from RC Timer of course carbon props um, I draw about 9 amps with the mot with these motors. I tested them out on the Tarot Ironman 650. Um, high quality motors are uh, highly recommendable. For the arm, I've cut it them uh, from this aluminum tube because it's cheaper of than carbon. And. Uh, after attaching the motor mount on it with four screw, uh, I run the cable in the tube and drill the hole here uh, to put out the cable. Like that, uh, the cable just go out uh, near the ESC. I'm going to solder the cables directly on the ESC. That's why. There is uh, the pre solder the pre solder the path, and I will just remove these plugs, and then put some uh, shrink tube around the SEs. For the video takes uh, for the FPV part, I'm going to use uh, this 3D printed mount uh, to put on my TBS Discovery, uh, 600 milliwatts. Immersion energy uh, in f uh, transmitter in 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, this uh, just plug on the top plate. Very easy to use. I'm going to use it this way, plugging the bigger hole in the middle. Um, just with some zip ties and foam, it will be okay. Very well fitted on it. That's very nice. So this is pretty much everything about the TBS Discovery Pro modified it with arm extensions and brushless gimbal. And uh, I will do a second part uh, to show you uh, the progress of the build, the DIY build, <clears throat> do-it-yourself build. Uh, I will show uh, maybe how I uh, set up the mini KK on my receiver uh, ESCs and for sure the first flight. So stay tuned and bye.